Hello learners, I am Priyanka Patel and in today's video, I am going to explain about lyophilization. As you can see in diagram, lyophilization process consists of three different steps. Solution preparation, freezing of the solution and primary and secondary drying, which makes the final dried product. In this video, mainly I have put emphasis on basic about lyophilization and stages of event that takes place during freezing process, as well as substance that get crystallized out after freezing process. Start with introduction. Lyophilization, also called as freeze drying and cryodesiccation. Why it is called as freeze drying? Because here, drying of the substance takes place after freezing. That's why it is called as the freeze drying. And cryodesiccation, because Dehydration takes place from the freezing state. That's why it is called as the cryodesiccation. What is difference between simple drying and freeze drying? So, if we consider in simple drying, generally evaporation takes place. That is, vapor is removed from the liquid state and product is dried. But in freeze drying, evaporation doesn't take place. Instead of that, in freeze drying, sublimation takes place. That is, Substance is first frozen, that is solution is prepared and solution is frozen and from frozen state, ice is directly removed in form of the vapor. Drying takes place at low temperature which prevent damage to the heat sensitive material and it can be used for sterile formulation. Freeze drying as an industrial process was introduced around World War II for the production of freeze dried plasma and manufacturing of antibiotic for the soldiers. After that, freeze drying was used for many biotechnological products, vaccines, and sterile formulations. The common application of pharmaceutical freeze drying is in production of injectable dosage form, diagnostic, and for oral dosage form. Final product produced by freeze drying is having relatively high specific surface area which makes the product with high disintegration and dissolution rate. Start with process overview for lyophilization. As that of sterile manufacturing here, terminal sterilization doesn't take place. So, vials are separately depyrogenated or sterilized and solution is also aseptically filtered and that filtered solution or suspension are filled into depyrogenated or sterilized vial and they are partially stoppered. Here special kind of closers are used that are called as lyostopper or slotted stoppers. Why stoppers are par partially closed? Because when drying takes place during sublimation process, vapor produces and that vapor must be released from the vial. Otherwise it leads to bursting of the vial. Then they are aseptically transferred into freeze dry. Trace of the product are placed on the cells containing internal channels which allow circulation of silicon oil or other heat transfer fluid. Silicon oil or heat transfer fluid will provide heat for freezing as well as for the drying. The product is first frozen to enough temperature to allow complete solidification of the content in each vial. After that, chamber is evacuated until the pressure is less than the vapor pressure of ice at temperature of the product. Here, pressure difference is the important parameter. If pressure is not less than the pressure, vapor pressure of the ice, then sublimation doesn't take place. After this pressure is reached, heat is supplied to the cell to provide energy required for the sublimation of the ice. As drying proceeds, a receding boundary can be observed in the vial as the frozen layer decreases in the thickness and thickness of the partially dried solid increases. So, as you can see in a diagram, as drying proceeds, the thickness of the frozen solution decreases and gradually thickness of the dry solid increases and at certain point, preparation will be completely dry in nature. What is freezing? So, freezing is an important parameter because it determines quality of final product and 
its processing characteristics such as rate of primary and secondary dry. Start with stages during the freezing process. So if we consider first we have aqueous solution. When we apply heat, there is super cooling of the solution. So what is meaning of super cooling? We consider practically water does not even freeze at 0 degree Celsius, but it undergoes super cooling. So what is meaning of that? Water remains liquid well below the melting point of the ice, which is called as the super cooling. At this stage also, some of the solute get crystallized. Next step is ice nucleation. After supercooling, as heat is applied, it initiate nucleation of the ice that makes crystallization of the ice. And as ice get crystallized, the solute becomes concentrated in nature because water is removed. So it leads to increase in a concentration of solute. So it produces freeze concentrate and it leads to increase in ionic strength. After that, it leads to solute crystallization and eutetic formation. Some of the solute does not get crystallized and they remain in amorphous solute. Some of the substance they convert into metastable glassy phase. So after anything it can be crystallized and some of the substance remain in lyotropic liquid state. For freeze drying it is necessary that we understand phase diagram of the water. So this is phase diagram of water and this is called as the triple point which value is 0 0.098 degree Celsius and 4.58 mmHg. At triple point, all three phases are considered in equilibrium, that is solid, liquid and gases. All three phases are in equilibrium. And for freeze drying, sublimation is to be takes place. And for sublimation, it is necessary that system temperature and pressure must be on this range, that is, for conversion of solid to gas, this line is considered as the sublimation line and combination of temperature and pressure must be on this line for the sublimation to take place. So for good sublimation rate, it is always necessary that pressure of the system is less than the vapor pressure of the ice, then only, then only vapor will transfer from ice to the condenser and drying will take place. So for that generally, temperature of condenser is kept in a range of minus 60 to minus 80 degree Celsius. So start with first type, that means crystallization of solute from the freeze concentration. So as we have discussed in stages of freezing, some of the solute get crystallized out and some of the solute remains in amorphous state. So first we'll discuss about solute which have tendency to get crystallized out. This is for solution of sodium chloride in water, NaCl plus water. So, so if we consider the graph, initially when we apply heat for the freezing of solution of NaCl plus water, there is reduction in a temperature up to portion A to B. Why there is reduction in a temperature up to this portion? Because supercooling of the solution takes place. At point B, because nucleation of the ice takes place and crystallization of ice started it leads to release in latent heat of fusion that lead to increase in a temperature and that temperature is called as the equilibrium freezing temperature. After equilibrium freezing temperature, again there is reduction in a temperature. Why there is reduction in a temperature? Because cooling continues that leads to growth of ice crystal and as ice crystal grow, interstitial become more concentrated. Why interstitial fluid become more concentrated? Because as I have explained earlier, due to crystallization of the ice, water content reduces and as water con content reduces from the solute, solute become more concentrated in nature. So first crystallization of the ice takes place and due to crystallization of ice, interstitial fluid become more concentrated with the solute. At point C, crystallization of concentrated interstitial fluid takes place and eutetic mixture of NaCl plus ice produces. What is eutetic mixture? So eutetic mixture is a mixture of two crystalline substances that melt as a single pure compound. So when eutetic crystallization is initiated, the temperature of the pure compound increases to eutetic temperature Te. 
and the product temperature decreases more rapidly towards the self temperature because now there is no any liquid substance or there is nothing which can absorb the heat to get solidified so once eutectic temperature is attained temperature will reduces towards the self temperature as you can see in this diagram once eutectic temperature t is attained there is there is decrease in a temperature why decrease in a temperature as i said there is no water to absorb the heat and to convert into frozen system so next is importance of eutectic temperature eutectic temperature is maximum allowable temperature of the product during primary dry that means if we consider this is the eutectic temperature and this is considered as the maximum allowable temperature that means we cannot dry the product during primary drying beyond this temperature so temperature should not exceed it te that is eutectic crystallization temperature and it is considered as the maximum allowable product temperature during the primary drying if the product temperature exceed eutectic temperature then puffing foaming or expulsion of solid from the vial takes place and dry takes place from the liquid instead of solid that means if temperature exceed te then drying will be takes place from the liquid instead of solid because here you can see this is the portion when it consists of solution plus ice that means in portion of b2c as we have discussed that is crystallization of concentrated interstitial fluid initiated so here there is no complete crystallization of substance so drying will takes place from the liquid not from the solid this temperature is applicable only for the solute those who get crystallize these are the references and with this i conclude my video in next video i'll explain about freezing of substance which does not get crystallize out or those who remain in amorphous state only thank you everyone for listening my video if you have any query you can contact me via email thank you everyone once again